how you have to find out whether this uh, uh, goes for uh, how to find out the eigen vector so it should follow this equation ax equals to lambda x say a is 2 1 1 2 say this vector is x y lambda is say 3 x y it will solve this equation so we will get 2x plus y, x plus 2y, and here will be 3x plus 3y. We will solve this, we will get x equals to y. And when we will get x equals to y, it means if x is 1, y is 1, x is 2, y is 2. So look, for this transformation, I am going to get Eigen vector x and y are same, so I can put 1, 1, I can put 2, 2, I can put 3, 3 equals to 3, 1, 1. Now we can check whether this is satisfied or not. So this value is called Eigen vector for this transformation, and this is called Eigen value. So Eigen value is a scalar, and Eigen vector undoubtedly is a matrices okay, for a transformation. So I just wanted to give you an idea. What is eigenvalue and eigenvector? Naturally, eigenvector is a direction and eigenvalue is a scalar. Next part is little bit tough because once uh, you will get the idea, the presentation, uh, representation of uh, different things in 2D and 3D, then we can easily get how we can get the image, how we will get the tensor voting. Normally in any of the curve, you will find it has some orientation, it has some length, it has some curve. So if curve is there, curve can be find out by its normal or tangent. A point can be represented by its coordinate. And one thing is orientation, orientation is kind of angle from some reference direction. Okay, so when we have to uh, represent any of the image, how we can uh, find out that image? What data or what things should be there? So eigen vectors in three dimensional. I am talking about general. There are two, uh, three uh, eigen vectors. terms of three dimensional ex, ey and ez. If I talk about two dimensional we, I have to take ex and ey. Okay. So these are called eigenvectors. So when we have first we are going to start with two dimensional thing. So in two dimensional thing what will happen we will get ellipse and in three dimensional we will get ellipsoid. Okay. It's difficult to make an ellipsoid here, but you can imagine this is an ellipsoid for three dimension. But we are starting with second order representation in 2D. Okay? Let us uh, read from there so that the points I have uh, noted is there. Uh, second order 2D is <coughs> it is form of second order symmetric non negative definite tensor. So when we have to represent a 2D thing, we will represent in a tensor form. That tensor is non-negative, second order and symmetric. Okay? It indicates the saliency of the structure. Saliency means the saliency means it's a salient feature. It can be a curve, it can be a reason, it can be a junction, it can be a point. Okay? <coughs> the token may belong to and it's uh, preferred normal and tangent orientation as I told you that token is nothing but data so data can have its either normal square, normal value or its tangent value okay and to uh, tokens can cast second order votes to their neighbors according to the tensor they are associated with now when you get some data it will be distributed to its uh, neighbors and we will use a 2 by 2 matrix 
to explain a tensor. Uh, here is the equation. How we will uh, uh, define a tensor? How we will represent a tensor? Tensor is defined in eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So, for two dimensional, we are defining it as lambda one. This is the way to represent a tensor. Normally, uh, we didn't study the tensor, so it's very new for you. Lambda one is you can say the length in the direction of its major axis. If I talk about tensor in uh, ellipse in two dimensional, this is lambda two, this is lambda one, this is taken as x. Arbitrary second order tensor is represented like this one. Okay. Now it can be rearranged in a format lambda one. Eldon, can you speak up when you're writing the the variables? Sure. Yes. Uh, lambda one minus lambda two. I put both in terms of E1, then I put lambda 2, E1 cap, E1 cap transpose plus E2, E2 cap transpose. This tensor is, I have written in this format, the same thing. It has eigenvectors and values in one direction and two direction. Okay, you can say X and Y and it, it is rearranged in this format. I think this is an easy step. <coughs> now the thing is that there are two important things. If I assume that in this figure my lambda 2 is 0, then what will happen? This will become like a stick. If lambda 2 becomes 0, it becomes like a stick. And if lambda 1 and lambda 2 becomes same, it will become like a disk or ball. So these are the basic things which we will use as the base of our uh, discussion. So these are the, in a tensor, tensor is a two dimensional tensor is represented like this. This is eigenvectors E1 and E2 in 2D. These are the eigenvalues. Okay. So if I assume that lambda 2 is 0, then this will convert it into a bar, bar or a single line, and if both are equal, it will convert it into a wall. Excuse me. Uh, what's the mean of uh, E hat 1, E hat 2 transpose? It's multiple of this. What's the mean of this? Uh, actually, I tried to get this one, how they put this one, but this is some tensor representation. Wherever it went, went for the tensor representation. Result of this is a number or is a matrix? Look, these, are, these are basically tensor as I told you. It's not a single thing. It's a matrix. But it's it's a vector value. As I, uh, I just told you that uh, eigenvector is x, y, if you remember. Yes. Okay, and it's a unit vector and it's transpose. For example, but the result is a, of this is a, a square matrix. Yes, the result of this one will be